Somebody's knocking at my door. Who is it? Joe from front desk, open the door. No. What do you mean? I'm going in the closet. Fuck that. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy LSG Melly, and I'm bringing you guys Fears of Fathom, the Northwood Hitchhike. This is episode two of uh, I think five episode series of Fears of Fathom. Um, this is I don't know how I feel about this one. We're gonna be in a motel. It's a very confined space. That's that's first and foremost. Um, these are all new to me. I know these episodes have been out for a while, except for the third one but i am i'm happy to play it for you guys if you guys are watching it with me even though you've seen it i really appreciate that guys it means so much to me um that first one was crazy i didn't like i didn't necessarily like how it ended but the jump scare made the gameplay worthwhile i just hope that with this one when i die if i die i don't have to restart this whole shit over again because before i clicked it it says that the play time is 40 minutes so that's a long time and if i die and i have to start all over this 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 gameplay is gonna take a minute for me to finish so hopefully it don't take a long time guys but um if you guys are liking the content please like and subscribe turn the notification bell on i will be happy to play the carlson house for you the carson house for you um after this i know this one took a minute um there's a big gap between this one and the first one but better late than never guys there's a lot of games that i'm trying to play on the channel so just just bear with me i will get these gameplays out for you guys without further ado let's just hop into this thing i'll see you guys soon here's a fathom episode two northwood hitchhike june 16th okay so we're in the summer this happened to me when i was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how freaked out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. My shit freeze? Oh. I was one of those people that loves gaming com conventions. I go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled about the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great. And it, and it was now the date to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12, it was a little over 12 hour drive. God damn. 12 hours? By yourself? You tripping already. Oh, I'm driving. Okay. Okay, we zoom in with the R, with the R um, click. All right, pulling up the text messages is still the same. Um, messaging Aiden Williams. What are you, okay, what are they talking about? They have a long conversation, guys. We're gonna just start from where it's stuck at. He said, what do you mean? Stuck in traffic, stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country, that sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. 
that's it i'm rerouting here you gotta do what you gotta do okay now we got a text message from dad drive safe holly don't forget to call me you got it dad aiden williams he sent the picture oh oh i think he sent the he sent the person's name i guess who he was with anything else uh leaving now drive safe holly okay that's his dad okay i think i hit oh i i hit something oh to get out why would i want to get out get back in the car yeah let me get back on the road i'm bugging out Making me drop with the W button. The the this shit is crazy. Not that bad though, but damn. Alright, nothing too out of the ordinary yet, but y'all know how these games get. Shit is insane. Alright, we got another text but let me actually stop. Um where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Will I get will I get copyrighted for this music playing right now? So you decide to reroute into West Bubble Fuck, and you thought this shit was a good idea. All right, so we know Holly is a girl, right? Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. All right, gas station where? I'll admit, I was a terrible driver. Yeah, I'm not doing so good with you right now. All right, let me stop again. What dad talking about? Told you take that flight. At this point, a flight was, was the best idea for you, Holly. Do you mind if I call you Hal? Dad, dad, stop texting me. You want me to be safe, but you're, text, you're texting me while I'm driving. You should have told me to stop texting and driving a long time ago. Oh, uh, I told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. You should have been told her to shut the hell up and just get here and stop texting and driving. And where's a gas station? Oh, we reached the gas station. Yeah, I need this. I need this. I need this. God damn, it's dark. I need a gas, right? Um, I need gas on pump two. Hello? I'm not even gonna bother you. I don't know you like that. Ma'am? All right, can I get 10 on pump two? Oh, I was actually right. It is pump two. <laughs> All right, what's mom talking about? Yeah, let me get gas on pump two. Why are you looking at me like that? You head into the bridge by yourself? The bridge? Guess why? Uh, yeah, why? I don't want to sound lost and I don't want to say the bridge. I just want to, I want to sound sure. Cause this is a woman, it's late, and you want, in this situations, as a woman, you want to be very confident about what you're talking about. So we're going to go with yes, why? Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Thanks. What do you mean? You got it. We don't care what he means. Uh, yeah, we, we don't care. Uh, yeah, just, just thanks. Thanks, bro. I'm not joking, man. Be careful. It's not safe out there. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. 
Ooh, do I still want to go down there? And people who went looking for them never returned. Oh my gosh. Well, thanks for gas. Can I use the toilet? Cool. Damn. Locals say the Norfolk Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on, on trees. Well, thanks for gas. Can I use the toilet? Cool. Why the fuck would I say cool to that? Yo, don't be an asshole. But why would I say cool? Well, thanks for gas. Uh, we're just going to thank him for the gas. Keep up. Keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Oh, you're over here now. You heard about the Norfolk Valley monster? Um, I don't care where he's headed. How's your, we're going to just say, never mind. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, why the fuck would I want to throw this? I mean, do I have a dog at home? Why would I want this? I didn't need it. Yeah. Let me just put that shit down. I'm sorry about the map. Sorry for being disrespectful, but, and one more thing. If you see a woman in white in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Okay, noted. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Okay, yeah, who is that? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs up out, they aren't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. All right, thank you. Thank you for that, boss. Who the, who's that? Why were you by my car? What's my... All right, all right I, meant to, I meant to talk to mom. Um, Ollie, mom, I don't know if you'll find... It. Hold on. Let me read these messages back in the store. That This is actually very dumb of me. Let me read them back in the store, okay? I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get some for Milo? I'll pay you back. I just picked up the dog food. Yeah. That'll be $5, ma'am. All right, let's pay. Let me put this shit in my car. There was somebody walking by my car, but then he drove off once I came out the store. I don't like that. I don't like that at all, bro. Put this shit in my trunk. I could just put that in the trunk. That's what I'm clicking on. Are you good? All that shit. Hold on. All that shit. All right. Why is this, <laughs> Why is this sticking out the... <laughs> Why, bro? Anyway, let's let's get let's just get back in the car and dip, bro. It's, it is really late. All right. Did I ever get? I don't think I got my gas. I never pumped the car. I I thought she was going. Uh. Wait, is this pump too? Did I ever pump the gas, bro? Bro, I don't. Did I pump the gas? Oh, I'm at pump two. I got to park at pump. I'm not at pump two. Damn, they really going to make me do all of this. They really going to make me do all this shit, bro. Okay, my driving skills are somewhat decent. Nice, nice, nice. They they decent in this game. Okay, okay, I see me, I see me, I see me. I still, I almost forgot to pump the damn gas, bro. I almost just drove off. I felt the tank it was off on the road again, bro. Cause I know that the 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 signal was still up. The the um E. The empty shit. See, look, now it's not there anymore. Okay, let we out. Damn, driving, driving on the keyboard is kind of hard. It's easy but hard. 
being on the road, you do realize a thing. What is that, Holly? Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. All right, let me stop. Why do y'all keep texting me while I'm driving? Y'all are bad parents, bro. It's not expired or anything, right? Bro, shut up. Why the hell would I buy expired dog food? I pray this music is not copyrighted that I'm that's playing right now, bro. Turn that shit off. Thank you. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. Why did you turn your light off? Why did you turn your light off? Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if I'm going to see that woman in a white dress. I'm a motherfucker in your white dress. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know the lyrics like that, but I'm thinking, why my lights keep going off when I get. Yo, turn your lights back on, dude. Damn, that guy in front of me is out. Where'd he go? He disappeared. He's a ghost. Damn, there is some wicked shit up here. How far into my destination? Thank you. Like, what, what is going on with my lights, bro? I don't have time for this shit. I don't have time for this shit. I'm six hours away. That's all I'm trying to do is just get home. What did that car that was in front of me go? He was literally a few feet ahead of me, but he's gone now. Man drove into Narnia, bro. And where's the road? This is a dirt road. Where's everything? Oh, this is the bridge that guy was talking about. Oh, this ain't good. I'll admit I was a terrible driver. Yo, you said that already. Stop, stop trying to expose me. I wasn't the best at. So every time I hit something, you're just going to say you're going to talk your shit. Nice. Nice. I drove over that bridge. How far am I supposed to go? Am I even going the right way anymore? And stop turning your light off. That's not me doing that, y'all. That's her. All right, I see a car on the road. But we don't stop for that. Ooh, a rabbit. The hell was that sound effect? Oh my god, let's look at the lights flickering. All right, hash slinging slasher, leave me the fuck alone. There's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road. Damn, I, I was trying to stop. I. So I could drive past the, Damn I was so focused on the logs I missed the dialogue Now nah, I have to get out It seemed as if someone Had deliberately put those there But I didn't think much of it at the time Bro move these shits All right, let me get the other one. She's strong as hell moving these shits. I didn't even click nothing. She's moving these shits by herself. She's legit moving these shits by herself, y'all. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Bro, pull pull the log. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The lo I did move the logs. Bro, I moved the logs. You can drive past the log. What are you doing? All right, so. They were already out the way. She's being mad dramatic, bro. All right, let's go. Oh, of course. My car won't start. The car wouldn't start. Ah, nice. Now we got to get out. Nice, nice, nice. While I was doing the damn blog somebody then came and swooped and just like that i was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service i'm not saying that i was starting to believe whatever that bull crap at the gas station but i would be lying if i said i didn't feel the slightest of unease all right i didn't know i didn't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story but through my, throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Where am I supposed to go? But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Do I just keep walking? Okay, I guess so. It is now 10.23 p.m. And I must, I saw a car coming. Where? Where? Where's he at? This way? Stop, please. Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. He ran me over. Yo. This, if this wasn't a game, I would have been dead. It is now 10.43. 20 minutes has passed. Okay, I'm still walking in pitch black. But of course, you guys can see, but I can't. I can't see nothing going on right now. Because I'm looking at my other monitor and I can see the road, but on my screen, it is pure black. I want to make sure nobody's following me, bro. I hear a bunch of whisp. What, what am I hearing right now? What is this? They're making this very ominous. I guess I just keep walking, right? She's still walking, y'all. Bro, where am I going? Can something please happen? 2,000 years later. I decided to walk back to my car, y'all, because I was walking for like 10 minutes and nothing happened. So I'm going to see what happens when I come back to my car. Ooh, this ain't my car. Who is this? All right, this person. All right, this person stopped for me, but I was walking, so I never actually. 
you're the girl from the gas station. Didn't think anyone would stop for me here. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. Yeah, we're going to do that one. I can't, uh, I can't call for help. There's no phone. So don't say that. The fuck? Why would you say that? You think I could get a ride? Just <laughs> where are you heading to? Just up the road, just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Just up the road. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could, could you wait till I get my stuff? Okay. Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. All right. Yeah, 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 I got you, bro. I'm about to just go get my dog food. And then we're going to call it a day. Well, that's the only thing I really had, to be honest with you. Bro, I was walking for so long. The game was really allowing me to walk for so long, bro. Was that all I had? Okay, I'm done. Finally, now hop in. Be quick. All right, let's go. All right, where is this dude taking me, bro? Drive. Oh, he is driving. Driving slow as hell, bucko. I'm going to keep my eyes on him. I don't trust him. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. I, I've, I live really close from here. I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason? What? My name's Jason. Okay. It's nice to meet you, Jason. I'm not telling you my name, bro. You want to know my name so bad. I don't know you like that. I just needed a ride. That's all I needed from you. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. Yay, yay, lucky me. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. It's an old car. I think I don't think it was the battery considering the car is still on. It's just, yeah, I don't know, bro. It never broke down on me like that ever before. It's my dad's. It's pretty old. But the car still turns on, though. Like, it was on and I heard, I heard your engine, bro. Like, that's, the shit is weird to me. So, what do you think? Think about what he told you back at the gas station. I didn't listen a single word. He really creeped me out. He's funny. Eh, creeped me out a little bit. Interesting. Why is that interesting? Yo, I, I, I feel like I'm telling this dude too much, bro. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. LMB to talk.
Oh, left mouse button. That's what that's that's what that says. What else can we talk about? So is it true? What the monster? Let's see. I've never seen a monster for myself, but there are there are some things. Oh my god, he's being fucking weird. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and they won't and they don't be bothered. And you don't be bothered. Okay, that's all you want to say. Let's just keep our, keep our eyes on him, though. We don't take our eyes off of this guy. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Yeah, there's really nothing to say. Besides, it's okay. Or I understand. Okay, just drive me to... Drive me to where we're going. I don't even know where we're going. It is now 12.08. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offer roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could, I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there. He said, I'm in sleep before leaving. Yeah, you're one of them. I bet. I bet you're one of them. Well, thank you. Fuck. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Gal, need a room, need a room to shack up for the night. How much is it for a room? Um, yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. 40 for a sink, 40 for single. Pay cash only. All right, pay the man, whatever. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. Ninety dollars. $90, Tommy will take care of the next thing in the morning. Do I pay you? All right, I got my room key. All right, well, only option to do is pay. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. Key room number nine. Who's this? She looked crazy. Hold on. We got, we, let's just leave, bro. Why do you got the same picture of the same woman all over your place? All over this place. All right. This is all my stuff. Do I buy a soda? Consuming this increase your sprint speed. Hell yeah. Any other soda does different things? Yeah, consume that shit. Okay. They all consume my sprint speed. I'm gonna... I don't wanna spend all my money though. I don't even know how much money I have. All right, we're gonna buy the chocolate bar though. And then that's it. I should be fast enough to, to my liking. I don't have to buy anything else. Okay. Ooh. Are we really fast now? Except for when we're here. All right, this is room number three. I'm guessing that's four. Where's my number? Ooh, we really are fast. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine. This is mine. All right. All right. I'll I'll answer my messages inside of this room. Okay. Okay. Hey, where are you? Your dad's calling me. Dad. What do you mean reroute? Try to try to resend that shit. Whoa, send it. I'm getting messages, but I can't send any out. That's fucking dumb. Ali? Yes, mom. Damn, you can't even send messages. Fucking ass. All right, we're in our room. The same woman is in my shit. I don't have a bed. I don't have a mattress. 
What the fuck? No fucking way, bro. Couldn't have slept there. So why am I going to sleep on the floor? What's what's mom's number? All right, turn that shit off, bro. I don't know anybody's number. I don't even have a ref. Ah! My God! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! I got chills on my kneecaps. I didn't even know you could get chills on your kneecaps, bro. <laughs> Bro, I would have died if this was somebody chasing me. I started looking at the ceiling. I let go of my mouse. He said, what are you doing here? Nigga, what are you doing here? Don't ask me shit and you're in the room I paid for. Damn. Yeah, I should be asking you that. I'm Tommy, room service. Here, here at Rowway Inn. The finest stopover in Northwood. What are you? Yeah, what are you doing in here? You know, cleaning stuff. Yo, all y'all motherfuckers is weird. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. What? <laughs> oh, nah, bro. I'm going to have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. So I have to carry every last item one by one. <clears throat> At, uh, turn that shit off. I have to carry every item from over here to over here one by one. That's not insane to you? No, that's a. Bro, I gotta carry so much stuff, bro. I'm gonna buy me another. I'm gonna buy me another soda or some shit. Let's buy the two dollar shit so we could get more for our buck. Bro, you scared the shit out of me, man. That shit is not cool, bro. Really needed some, really needed me some energy soda. Ooh, that was crazy, bro. Right. He's gonna throw it inside the room. Bro, why are you outside the room? Do what you're doing, bro. All right, he made up my room. Let me see. What are you talking about now, bro? Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't worry. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> Stop laughing. But you have a good night. Yes, leave. Leave out my room, bro. Bro. That scared the shit out of me, man. All right, I'm going to we're going to I'm going to go get my stuff. Bro, I feel like I should close my room door, though. We're going to close our room door. Damn, that was con. Yo, that's that's scary, bro. I guess I just finished getting all my stuff. Get to get some more soda. Lime drink. How much money do I have? I'm saying buying mad snacks. All right. The yeah, increasing my sprint speed is helpful. All right. 
So I gotta go get all my stuff one by one, bro. I don't wanna leave my door open and somebody sneak in my room. Like, this is a motel, bro. I feel like motels are such a cliche for scary, creepy shit that happened to you, bro. We at the hotel, motel, holiday inn. I feel like somebody is gonna sneak in my room though because my door is unlocked. Everything about this level so far is just sketchy. I don't wanna keep forgetting to close my door though. Somebody's gonna really sneak in my room. So after I get my stuff, what do I do? Do I just go to bed or something? Go to bed and wait for him to fix my car. Damn, my sprint ran out. Oh, I realized the song I was singing earlier. Me, me at the altar in your white dress. There we go. That that's what that was. Which I know about that. Stop playing. With, stop playing with them. Oh, we got a cola for three bucks. I'm buying this one. Hopefully, this speed lasts way longer than the other ones, bro. Okay, that creepy dude still there. Okay, this is my last bag. Let's go. All right. I don't have any other questions. It's time to just go to bed and just speed this night up. Okay, couch. All right, we're asleep. Is that peeing? Who's in my bathroom? Someone's in my bathroom, bro. <sighs> Who's at my window? Who the fuck? Call it foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Get up, yeah, hell yeah, get up. Why would I... Bro, someone, someone was peeing in my bathroom. The fuck? Why were you in my, I heard peeing coming from my bathroom, bro. I heard peeing, bro. All right, let's just get back in bed. Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me, only coffee could help me stay up. The fuck? Close the door. Yes. Yes, we're gonna do that. What do I get coffee from? The vending machine or uh I think I go to the vending machine. Vending machine sell coffee though? I don't think I go to the vending machine, but we're gonna check the we're gonna check. Yeah, I don't I don't see coffee. We're gonna ask this guy in here for some coffee. Right over there, room number nine. That's it. Bro, okay, okay where's the coffee? They're talking about some I can only drink coffee, but where is it? This is only a cola machine. I'm actually gonna buy me some cola so I can sprint around faster. There we go, energy soda. All right, 
Let's see. If we, uh, it has to be here somewhere. Where else could it even be? Is this it? Oh yeah, there we go. Espresso. Oh, it's all free. Yeah, we're gonna get that espresso. Hell yeah. Cause some of these items help you stay awake, and it was free. On the house, bet. And I got my and I got my energy drink. I should have a limited sprint right now. What happened to my screen? What the hell? Yo, my controls are weird. Somebody drugged my coffee. Bro, down is up. Down is up. Up is back. Left. What's dad saying? I can't see none of this right now. Bro, I'm really. I'm. Yo, she's high, bro. Let me just get back to my room and sleep this shit off. It's my room. Oh no, this is room number six. Yeah, my room is over here. They really drugged my coffee. Eight. Nine. Bro, I am drugged the fuck out right now. I gotta sleep this off, bro. Nah, they they drugged my shit. That's why they, that's why I was free. <laughs> Everything free ain't good. Message. It is now three eighteen in the morning, bro. I was sedated. I can't get up. No fucking way, bro. I thought these phones didn't work. Bro, I thought these phones didn't work. Answer it. Bro. Didn't feel safe going out. What? Uh, you can't wash your face or nothing? So do I just go back in bed? What the fuck is that? Bro, there's a lot going on, bro. Somebody's knocking at my door. Who is it? Joe from front desk, open the door. No. What do you mean? I'm going in the closet. Fuck that. I'm sitting here scared of him. There's a motherfucker in my closet. Oh, damn. Oh. Wow. All right, so... I made it back to the part where I drink the laced coffee and now I'm 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 just going to enter the door. There's my options. Now that I know that there's someone in my closet, bro, I'm leaving 318 a.m. I'm leaving, bro. I'm not I'm not going to that closet. None of that shit. 
I'm, I'm going to just open the door for the guy, bro. Hopefully, I get some damn help. I don't know what to do, though. There's something in my... There's somebody in my closet. She says she didn't feel safe going out, bro. Let's just crouch. Bro, hurry up and knock on my door. Let me get back into bed. That's what I had the first time. Got back in bed. Come knock on my door, bro. Don't go to the bathroom. She still says she don't feel safe going out. So we just go back in bed. Let's just stay in the bed, bro. I'm so creeped out right now. What do I do, bro? When is... Oh, let's check my text. I'm still high as hell. Okay, he's knocking on my door. We're just going to answer that shit. Who, who is it? Joe from the front desk. Open the door. Open the door. Yes? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all these goofy noises for? <laughs> Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Yes. Yes, bro. Are you messing with me? No, I'm not. It's right over there. Follow me. Okay, okay. Here, I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess... Yeah, just follow me. I hate my job. Yes, just follow me, bro. Don't kill me neither, bro. Are you following me? Okay. Wow, that that jump scare was insane, bro. Where the fuck is the coffee machine at? Bro, it was right here. Go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. What is it? What? I said go back now. Leave. Did you not hear me? I said go back. Check the table by the TV. There should be some medication in your room. There should, there should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Bro, please, I hope that guy do not jump out at me, bro. I still can't even read my text message. I'm still high as hell. Is he following me? I do not want to go back in this room, bro. Okay, I took the medicine. I'm not opening that closet door. Requires water. Okay. I just, I don't want to open the fucking thing, bro. Can I just go talk, talk to the guy? Didn't feel safe going out. So do I go back in bed? 
All right, we're just going to go back in bed, bro. We're going to watch TV. <sighs> what do I do? <laughs> okay. So you take that flight. All right, all right, dad. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late. When you reach back, hope you're feeling all right. Aiden, you got to do what you got to do. It's not expired or anything. Okay. What do I do now, bro? I know he's in my closet. I'm going. I, I got to leave. I got to leave this place. I got to leave this place. She's still talking about how she don't feel safe going out. Do I take a... Sh can I take a shower? Bro, I know this man is still in my closet. We're going to wash our face again. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. Do nothing. Let me crouch. Hello? I know you're in there. Oh, no. All right, we're going to try the closet this time. Close that shit. I think he's gonna come into. Okay. Oh, we can't talk. Five minutes later. We're gonna open it. If I get scared, I get scared. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm calling the cops. Yes, yes. Pretty lady, come. Bro, I thought they were both trying to come in here and assault me. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as if it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could could have been home to a cult or drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I will always take airplanes. Yes, yeah, spend that extra money, guys. If you haven't learned anything else, spend the extra money. Wow. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. That was intense. Oh, that was intense.
That was intense. That was intense. Sheesh. <sighs> All right, y'all. This one was way better. It immensely better. This one was way better, y'all. Um, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to the third one. That was crazy. Wow, my heart was pumping when that music started hitting over. It said, the hell no, that shit had me geek. But all right, guys, that is the end of this episode. If you guys have enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe, like I always say. Because I was scared as fuck, you know? But I do this for you guys because I know horror is one of the most popular genres on this on youtube because you know jump scares are just funny and it's 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 so it gives you like an anxiety attack but you just keep coming back you know so i do this for you guys i love you guys um i'll see you guys in the next one peace